I'm Laura Tuller, Storage Systems Engineer for Mainline Information Systems. Today I'm going to talk about pervasive encryption with the DS8900 and the mainframe Z15. Most companies find today that just having application level encryption or data at rest encryption isn't enough. There's too many other factors at play and other threats, whether they're internal or external. So the most recent announcement is for pervasive encryption, which includes authentication, which is trusted systems, meaning that a rogue host cannot write data or read data from a storage subsystem in your environment, or a rogue application cannot request data from that storage subsystem. This way, both the mainframe and the DS8000 are known entities, and it can prevent other outside entities from being used. Now, encryption is the data in flight between the mainframe and the storage subsystem. This encrypts it to prevent any rogue entity on the SAN fabric from entering in and collecting the data as it's being passed through. There are a few requirements to note. The first is that it does require IBM SKLM version 301 or greater. Also, your Cisco or Broadcom switches and directors will require firmware updates. The DS8900 can do authentication with the 16 gig fiber channel adapters, but if you want to do both encryption and authentication, you'll need to switch to the 32 gig fiber channel host adapters. On the Z15, the CPACF feature is needed, along with the endpoint security feature, and one or more of the FICON Express 16S features and cards. So ask today how you can have a more secure environment between your storage and your mainframe. 